Miami's got a lot of people. Car people, medic people, security people, and crowd people. Each and every one of them out and about enjoying a beautiful summer afternoon, and everyone's just having a great time. Everyone except for this guy. This guy is not having a great time. Which is fair, because this guy just spent the last 15 hours silently killing everyone else here. Here's how. We're gonna start off solely focusing on the real NPCs. I'll go into this a bit more later, but for now this is just anyone who shows up on the map or is highlighted in instinct mode. Wilton Creek had just over 100 of these boys, Miami has three times that. Also, when I say silent, I mean in Hitman terms, but with a little twist. Not only can no kills be traced back to me, but they can't be witnessed by real NPCs in general. No one can know that I'm stabbing this dude, including the dude himself. This means as long as anyone is watching, no accidental explosions, no accidental falls, and no accidentally shooting flamingos at point blank range in the face. Also, also, I'm not doing this in one run. Yeah, no. Now, you're probably mostly wondering about these crowds, and we'll get to that, but to start, there's a lot of people on their own little ventures we have to take care of first, starting with the garage. Alright, after taking a quick little look-see around, I unfortunately think that the blue-collar worker has once again lost to the <laughs> rich white man. Just gonna line this up. She didn't see it. Since most people were out watching the race, the west side of the map was a great starting point for this challenge. Okay. Hey, bro. What's up, bro? You can you just come with me? This is different from Grand Prix. Right, got it. Alright, go that's cool, man. Fuel efficiency. Bonk. Lead pipe. 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 <laughs> Stop shaft lifting. Hello, guy. Dude, those are cups. What? What is. What are you inspecting? My brother in Christ, those are cups. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna throw you in the river. After tanking the local economy, I cleaned up the rest of the boardwalk before running into some trouble with the local authorities. Sorry, but this access point is restricted. I can't. Yeah. Amount of hell. Yeah, you heard it. Yeah, you heard. Shut up. Where the hell did you- Game theory. Yeah, if I can get in first, that would probably be ideal. Oh wow, there's quite a few people in here. Whoa. The future. Oh, what? Why? What? No. Oh my god, I killed Joe Biden. That's horrible. Oh, look at that strad. They call me Flint. With all this lead in my pipes, idiot. God damn it, I forgot about the boom, boom, boom. swag. Come on, then. Yup. Boop. Now that me and event security had settled our differences, it was time to cross the track and check into my room. Okay, we get it. You guys are announcers. I didn't even know there's a hotel back here? What? This is crazy. No one tell me about this. I'll be honest, I didn't really know this area was here, and that combined with the weird spacing of the guards and doctors made it annoying to separate anyone from the pack. And look, I can handle a failure or two. But there was one aspect of Miami I didn't plan for that was starting to get a bit annoying. When the time's up, you gotta cover, you gotta cover, you gotta cover as much I mean, everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. You gotta cover as much ground as possible. You gotta cover as much ground as possible. Wow. Champagne. That is loud. Jesus. Seriously? No one? Really? Hello? There's no lot. You are security. This is your job. Do you know what your job is? Where are you going? You know what? God damn it. Is that a shotgun? This is sick. Silence my ass. Alrighty, I should probably go do the thing again. 
It's just red paint. It's called architecture. You wouldn't understand. Next up is the garage wing. This is where all the race crew worked in six different garages. Three of them were pretty easy. Die. Two were a bit harder. God! No, 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 no. Boop. Hey, yo. And the last one gave me a goddamn heart attack. Alright, what order do I want to take this in? Try that guy. And then this guy. That man is in a wall! That is just cheating. No! I'm not doing that again! I'm not! You can- No! I, I don't- I don't want that. Again. Other than my PTSD, this section wasn't too difficult. But I don't want to discredit these guys. I mean, they already get enough shit and not nearly enough attention for the work they do. I guess you could say... <laughs> I guess you could say that they're driving force <laughs> behind the team. <laughs> Uh, hell yeah. What if I do this? Oh. That's what happens. What if I do it again? Alrighty. I'm angry. And I want to kill someone. They are more than one mechanic short. I'll tell you what. Oh. oh. You know what we call that? We call that domestic terrorism. Hell yeah. Wasn't that annoying? I'm just gonna quickly. Hey. Little bit of constructive criticism. You could use a mint. Okay, you go back to being a brick. Brick. Go. Do you mind? Look, I would like you to know, I don't like your face. What are you up to I don't anyway? like your face. <laughs> <laughs> After Killer. correcting some things, I was finally done with my first tour of Miami. I could have kept probably trying to find people who were relatively alone, but it was time for a change of pace. It was time for... This is where the latest and greatest in Vroom Vroom technology is being displayed and developed. In traditional terms, it's the most heavily guarded area on the map, with elite security prowling around every corner. This is where the game would decide if I was a hit man, or just some hit boy. Four. To get to the top I would need strength, intuition, quick thinking, and a way to- Oh cool, a helicopter. That's sick, I didn't know that was up here. Yeah, this section was pretty easy. In fact, the whole time I was going through, I was a bit more concerned about something else. For whatever reason, Trash Man wasn't developed with cool dudes like me in mind, who were spending over two hours and counting on a single Hitman file, and as a result, the game starts to break down over time. On Miami, the main issue is that the race continues to get louder and louder to the point of drowning out all the other audio in the level. making me wish I could jump onto the track. And after two hours, I was starting to lose it. How long did it take for the clock to tick down? Ah! So I thought it was time to finally figure out how to actually fix it. See, I figured that if I could end the race, the car sounds would stop and things would figure themselves out. But for some reason, I never really thought about what would happen next. When the race ends, Sierra drives over to her garage and hops out of her car. This is a problem. For a couple of reasons. Not only that, but a whole bunch of other NPCs' paths change. And this is also a problem. For a couple of reasons. So you might be wondering, like, how how didn't you know about this before? Wait, 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 wait you never played on this map before? <laughs> I tried to go back and hide all the fellas, but at this point in the run, there was a little too many all over the place for it to be really worth the time. Ah, oh, shit. Besides, even if I did decide to hide all the bodies, it wouldn't have really mattered. 
because of uh, one one tiny issue. <laughs> Let's go up the stairs. I mean, it's not legal to carry a robot arm around. Why is there a dead guy in the middle of the road? I don't know. No, seriously, I, like, I don't have any idea of why why I shot that. Like, I went through the recording and I just I just shoot and him. He's dead. Like, I don't say and anything. There's no I just shoot him. No, I don't shoot him. No, so when you combine this with all the dead dudes laying around, sprinkle on a bit of broken audio, and also add the fact that I forgot to record half the center, my only remaining option was to return to a point much earlier in the run. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It only it only sent me back like 30 kills in an hour of gameplay. Wrong! This would be four hours to figure out. I'm very indecisive. God damn it! On the plus side, my sound was working again. It's a miracle. Once I finally reloaded my file, I redid some kills and got straight to work hiding the bodies. After a couple of failed God attempts and an incredibly it. annoying game of Where's Waldo trying to find the last dead guy, Oh, there you are, you bastard. I managed to get a run going where no one was inconvenienced after I ended the race. And I actually got to see what happens next. It turns out, for that for being such a little, good little, good little, good little, good little sport, Sierra heads over to the media room, has a bunch of daddy issues, and is announced the winner of the race. So I immediately thought it would be kind of funny if that didn't happen. Unfortunately, this wasn't going to be that easy. By the time I would get back over to the garage, Sierra and her groupies would already be heading over, which included a flamingo, some old guy, two camera people, three friends, another camera guy, and a reporter, and no matter what I said or did, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> I couldn't manage to get to see her in time by the time she left the tunnel. Huh, 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 huh. Shit. She got away. Luckily, it didn't matter because she comes back five minutes later. <laughs> So with Sierra finally dead, I was finally able to get back to the challenge. And luckily, I only had a... Don't fret, ladies and gents, we are not done yet. The exhibition race is about to start, so be prepared to see the future maxed to its fullest. Exhibition race? No. No no no. no, 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 wait, 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 <laughs> no, I hate this map. Now that the announcer had made me a bit more motivated to finish the challenge, I finished cleaning up, left the red carpet, and headed back over to... Like I said earlier, this section was pretty easy. Everyone was either already alone, or only needed a little cash to be convinced. Once they were isolated, I just used one of the many silent weapons I had gathered in my arsenal. Like a silent screwdriver. Or a silent crowbar. Silent. Very silent. <laughs> or a silent hammer. No clue. <laughs> or a silent golf club. Or... Or a silent metal arm. That's not silent. <laughs> or even a silent wood chipper. In you go. Just keep your hands in Okay, you broke the rule. You broke the rule. You're supposed to keep your hands and feet inside the ride and you didn't. Or a silent grenade. That's just... They were just doing... So much... Black tar hands. <laughs> it's a crater. That, uh... Can I silently kill him? Oh! Oh hell yeah, that's how I'm getting this guy out of here. Get out of here! After making sure no one else would be going in the center, I left out the back and headed over to the media room. I was a bit worried about this section at first, but as it turns out, vacuums. are really loud. Ouch. My dude, I just locked your head up. Not trying to waste any time, I quickly headed back to the right side of the map to take care of some of the security watching the race. Holy shit, it's him. Oh, oh, who's racing around the track now, huh? 
Huh? Guess it's not as good of a game for racing as you thought it was, huh? It kind of felt like there was a weight off my shoulders as I headed to the next area. Something that would come in handy as the cubes would turn out to be the hardest and most annoying part of the run. Take a look at the yellow one, for example. Say I wanted to kill one of the seven people on the top floor. Well, I couldn't really kill anyone while in the room. There was too many people, and I couldn't exactly take the body downstairs. This only left the option of sneaking out back, but that wasn't ideal either, since it put me right within eyesight of any one of the main walkway, making it so that I would basically have to hug the wall the whole time. Finally, even if I did manage to get someone down on the ground, there was a strong chance that I would get seen through the fence before I got to hide the body, which is both oh, a really oh, cool game mechanic, oh, but also... Uh, oh, no, no, uh, I eventually just resort to throwing random crap on the stairs. He vanished. Where did he go? And relying on an old friend. Bah. Uh, the vacuum cleaner method. Uh, so effective. And while my strategies were kind of stupid. Is it just wrenches flying everywhere? No, you don't! You heard that! Get your ass! They got the job done. I'm like 90% certain the last people aren't. Where the heck did you come from? I was pretty hyped to say my goodbye to the cubes. A good thing, since I was right about to head over to the most exclusive club in Miami. Here you could find the elite of the racing world, talking cars, politics, and anything business. These guys weren't just here for fun. For them, it was a major networking upper. <laughs> you know what? It's just a bunch of rich bastards. They they don't deserve a voiceover. I'm just I'm just gonna kill them. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kill them. I'm just gonna kill them. Hello, I have a briefcase. I am an important business person. Hello, Spanish lady. Look how important I am with my briefcase. And with that, I'd finally cleared out every major location in Miami. However, there were still over 60 NPCs left, most of which, unfortunately for me, were in the crowd. Now, I wish I could tell you that I had some intricate plan to deal with all these guys. But in reality, I found that the fastest method was to lure them away from the busiest areas using my somewhat large inventory of 10 wrenches, 11 screwdrivers, 4 scissors, a frying pan, briefcase, battle axe, fire axe, regular axe, shovel, shotgun, bat, golf club, 3 propane tanks, a silence pistol, 4 regular pistols, 13 points, 9 crowbars, 9 hammers, 5 kitchen knives, 3 baseballs, 3 cleavers, 2 lead pipes, baton, fish, joint, carbon, firecracker, 3 octane boosters. <gasps> 10 coconuts, 10 soda cans, 2 apricots, 2 bags of sugar, a bust, a brick, fiber wire, 6 rat poisons, and a didgeridoo. There are now 5 real NPCs left in Miami. But before I finish them off, there's still one question that we need to answer. What even is a crowd NPC? Well, even with how immersive Hitman is, like any game, it does have its limitations, and giving every single NPC a role path ability to react on a map as big as Miami would not only probably kill your computer, but the devs as well. Hitman gets around this with crowd NPCs. These guys solely exist to take up space. They have no path or role, and no mind of their own. I personally like to call them fake NPCs, because they're not real, and don't deserve rights. Now, the average player is aware of this, but the Hitman devs did a pretty good job keeping these fakes out of mind. So much so that the average player might not even recognize how little function they have. In fact, the average player might not even notice that for all the things they don't have, fake NPCs have one very special property. In Hitman, if only fake NPCs see a body, it's still considered a silent kill. Alrighty then. That's, uh, that's 300, right? That, that's everyone? Yeah? 
Cool. Cool, cool. Let's, uh, let's head out then. Excuse me, sorry. While I was pretty relieved to finally hit 300, I was also kind of nervous. Mostly because I didn't actually know if I'd gotten everyone. I mean, there's no in-game kill counters, so there was a non-zero chance I had just left someone unconscious or forgotten about the entire area of the map. Luckily though, before I could begin to spiral, for once, Miami decided to be nice to me and let me know themselves. What? Where do you think you're going? I mean, I don't I don't really know what he's up to, but I'm probably just gonna head home probably. To being done. What, what, yeah, yeah, I am. I just, I just killed everyone. No, you only killed every real NPC. What about the rest of us, huh? Well, um, I don't mean to be rude, but you guys don't really matter. Okay, dick. Look, I'm sorry. I just don't really see the point in killing. That it just takes way too much. It doesn't matter. The title of the video says everybody, so you and your boy better pick up your crap and get back over mm. here. Oh my god, fine, 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 you know what, you know what, fine, fine. Y you know how I basically said earlier how a kill is only not silent if it's seen by a real NPC? Yeah? Will you see any real NPCs around? No. Wait. <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm gonna keep this short, but if you're still here, thanks a lot. I spent way too long on this, so, you know, to, like, to the subs and watch my last video because it got no views and that really hurt. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.